main drawback of this unit, apart from the 90 degree angle of move, is the non-linear response. To overcome the natural tendency of the yoke to self-center itself, you need to apply quite a lot of force. And for me, that kills all the realism. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify your yoke from this to this. Indeed, it doesn't bounce back, or at least not as much as it used to do. And much more, now the response is much smoother. So this video is an improvement from my attempt number one, which was uh, probably over-engineered, so to speak. So let's get to it. After some trial and error, I found that this is the best configuration. But you might be thinking, well, there's an extra rubber band to one side that makes it non-symmetrical. What's going on here? Well, check it out. If I kept the symmetry, this happened. The right-hand side is not moving up as fast as the left-hand side. It could be because the yoke itself is not balanced. The right-hand side might be a bit heavier because it has more controls on it. Who knows? But well, I'm very pleased with the results. I think the next step will be to upgrade it to a 12-bit controller because this would allow the potentiometer to have more steps. But well, that's still yet to come. Thank you for watching and see you next time.